Hi, I'm Steve Schweitzer. Welcome to Steve's Tech Talk. Tech Talk. Tech Talk. Tech Talk. Tech Talk. When it comes to Facebook, people either love it or hate it. It's one of the ways I keep in touch with my kids and I keep in touch with my siblings. It's kept me in touch with people such as ex-classmates and co-workers. It lets me stay in relationship with the people I like and make fun of the people I don't. If you like Facebook, you're not alone. There are over a billion potential friends out there who would be more than happy in joining you in wasting time on the internet. Facebook was made for puppy and kitten pictures and I like puppy and kitten pictures. I joined Facebook soon after it started in 2004, but I only had three friends, and my teenage daughter kept telling me, Dad, you're such a loser. Well, my friend, Patty Spittler, tells me I'm not alone in starting slow. So all of a sudden, I have 10 friends out there on the internet, and then 10 friends became 100, and then 1,000, and I thought, this is really neat. So my family now is my Facebook, and I have close to 10,000 on several different pages. It's hard to keep up with Facebook's constant changes. So today, I'd like to offer you three simple tips that might help you enjoy the service a little more. Lack of privacy has always been the biggest complaint with Facebook. So when it comes to your privacy, I think it's safest to think of it the way Patty does. Whatever you put on Facebook, it's not just, you didn't just write a note to that person. You didn't just call that person. It goes everywhere. Better safe than sorry. And Facebook has recently added a privacy checkup to help walk you through some of the most important privacy settings. Just click on the little padlock at the top of your Facebook menu bar, and they guide you through the three most important settings. For each setting, you choose between public, which means anybody can see your information, friends, which limits your information to your friends, or other, which allows you to really customize who sees things. So you set your global settings, but then Facebook gives you a chance to adjust those settings for each individual post. So even if you set your global privacy settings for public, right next to the blue post button, there's a drop down menu and it allows you to control who sees that particular post. Along with deciding who can see your post, you can also decide to hide your location. Again, even if you chose to share your location with everybody in your global settings, you can override that choice and delete the location information before you post. This can save you a lot of headaches if you don't want your boss to know you took the afternoon off to watch a ball game. If you want to play it safe, the best bet is to use those global privacy settings and limit who can see your information. If you only share a post with a few friends and later decide you want the world to see it, it is possible to edit that post after you've sent it. Even after all these years on Facebook, I only have a few hundred friends. So let's let the lady with 10,000 friends have the last word. Don't get on Facebook unless you're, you're completely coherent, <laughs> you know what you're saying, and don't trash other people. If you have a suggestion or a topic you'd like me to cover, drop me a note at BoomerTV.com. For Boomer TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.